what does your wife think about all this? Uh, <coughs> okay, she's not at home, so I can freely yeah, tell yeah. you. Zesky. Hey guys, welcome back to Zenscape where we experience the divine through aqua design. Today we are chatting with Blood Red Jackie once again of Litty Aquera about his home aquascaping gallery. So stick around to find out what his wife thinks about all this. So let's dive in. Okay, Jackie. Hi. Hi, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We, Hi again. We keep talking and that's a great thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you for welcoming us into your yeah. beautiful home aquascaping gallery. Yeah. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So first question, just wondering, um, how long into your aquascaping hobby did you decide, okay, I want more than one tank? Uh, or was it immediate? <laughs> actually, very soon after I got the, my first tank, mm. then I got my second tank. Uh, just because uh, one simple reason because I do the plant trimming mm. I do the cutting then I don't know where I am gonna place that um, trimming plants yeah that's so, the second, so, so it's second tank is just to hold the basically storage the, yeah oh. the first tank okay, and okay. Uh, yeah by um, uh, but if you just hold the plants for some time you feel boring uh, you put some stone in you put some driftwood mm. in you put some soil in and then it becomes another aquascape. Another scape popping out. Ah, I it's see, just I like see. that. Yeah, and uh, right. similar to all other things in the in the house, actually you can see. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so so what are some of the key considerations when planning for a home aquascaping gallery? Basically, you need to see whether you have enough space or not. That's a good one. Yeah, yep. definitely. Uh, but normally for aquascapers like us, we will have those kind of syndrome. Do you know what syndrome is that? <laughs> Can you tell me? <laughs> that one is the empty world syndrome. Oh. Empty world syndrome means whenever you see the empty world space, you want to put the tank oh, in. Oh, empty world syndrome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. So so basically, uh, you yeah. can see uh, around my room here, uh, mm. all the all the world already filled in with yeah. tanks. Yeah, so <laughs> There's no more empty that, walls. That, I think I have a very serious syndrome here now. <laughs> Yeah. I can I can tell. Yeah. But so first, it, uh, yeah. Firstly, is a space. Yeah. Yes, you yes. can see if you have space and you put in so different kind of space, you mm. put in different size of tank. Small space, you put nano tank. Bigger a bit, then you put like bigger tanks. Yeah. Mm, so mm, uh, mm. yeah, and so want to try different kind of tank size. That's why mm, yeah, mm, mm. yeah all the uh, all the time will come in naturally eventually. Right. 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 So space is the main thing. Yes. Yeah, of course, I would thing. think finances as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, finances. Um, uh, talking about finances, actually, um, uh, it's partially, but mm. um, it's uh, in Singapore. Honestly, you can get a good deal uh, of having the uh, second-hand equipment actually from mm, Carousel, and uh, I think even from the shop, right? The uh, some of the, the the not so branded stuff you can really use, uh, and and it works mm. well as well. Yeah. So it's actually very affordable. In yeah, Singapore. very affordable in Singapore. Mm. Yeah, are most of your equipment. Uh, First hand bought, mm. or did you also get a lot of second hand? I got stuff? a lot of second hand. Okay, yeah, okay. I think uh, second hand equipment and and even tanks, uh, because uh, in um, we can find very easily on carousel and mm. also from friends uh, when they give up the hobby, mm. when uh, yeah, the moving house and stuff. Yeah, sometimes they just want to clear the the, the tanks and things. So they say, hey Jackie, you want to just adopt the tank oh. and then and then okay, then we take over. Then then that's it. Right, yeah. right. Wow. So it, it yeah. is not about the cost here in Singapore. Yeah. Actually, uh, um, if you want to have everything brand new and uh, branded stuff, it can be very expensive. Mm. But it also can be affordable to have the, um, how say, uh, the general good tank size, like 60 cm, 2 feet tank mm -hmm. here in um, affordable price and, and, and uh, right. uh, yeah, budget friendly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I noticed some people use racks, like you know those industrial oh, storage okay. racks? Mm. Um, I noticed you don't use that. Is there yeah. a reason you, you opted for this approach rather oh, than the racks? I see. Actually, um, uh, for me, I, I, I just have the feeling uh, the rack is like a bit more like fish shop. Ah. Uh, and then um, the purpose I want to create is like more on, uh, I want to have the gallery, a mm. kind of a small gallery for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, basically, if I put the too much rack, it will uh, it will look like a bit bulky in in the, in the room la. yeah so it's also an aesthetic issue yeah aesthetic issue yeah. okay okay yeah. um and maybe you can walk us through your equipment um, mm. i mean you don't have to do one by one but mm. just in general 
Okay. Uh, what are some equipments that you, you use in okay. your Yeah, uh, so for um, planted tank, I think the most important is the tank itself. Mm. So normally, uh, the guideline for me to choose a tank uh, um, is, uh, is low iron glass or the so-called crystal glass. Mm -hmm. uh, for that kind of uh, uh, tank, uh, crystal glass, it can see the clarity uh, very nicely. And um, you can see the, 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 the beautiful planted tank with the uh, more uh, low iron glass, crystal glass, mm, uh, yeah. rather than the normal glass. Uh, yeah. mm, mm. So um, equipment tank, uh, second important thing um, is um, uh, lighting. Mm. Lighting, I think, is a, uh, the, the most important thing to, to invest in the, mm, in the planted tank itself. Because a plant need light to grow. They need the energy from the light to grow. So if you uh, want to invest uh, in the beautiful planted tank, invest in the light. Yeah. Uh, so after light is a uh, uh, filter. So filter, you can choose uh, uh, different kind of filter, uh, HOB filter mm. or uh, canister filter. But mm. for me, I will choose a canister filter for all of my tank mostly mm. because um, of the, uh, how say, it, it look neater in a way. I can just put the canister filter uh, in the cabinet or underneath. So uh, it link up with the pipes, uh, go to the side. So it is very neat and clean. Mm. Yeah. So filter, oh. uh, after filter is CO2. Yeah. Yep. So CO2 is uh, the, 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 I think, it's, uh, people say can go low tech and things, but for me, I, I think all my tank need to have CO2. So use it, use yeah. CO2 for all tanks? For all okay. the tanks, yeah. Mm. Because it will bring the best of all the plants uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in the planted tank, yeah. It bring all the potential there, good lighting, good CO2, good filtration then yeah, the tank will be, right, right. Yeah, yeah, have the potential to be beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And do you use chillers for all your tanks? Uh, right? For chiller, for small tank, I don't use chiller. Mm -hmm. uh, small tanks mean like less than 60 cm, I don't use chiller. But like for mm. the tank from 60 cm and above, I use chiller for that. What's the yeah. rationale for? Um, no, yeah. for, <laughs> for me, I feel like um, if the temperature is one of the parameter in uh, for the planted tank, right? if it can control at a certain level, then you will have like uh, one parameter control already. Then mm. you will have uh, less work to control other parameter. Like right. um, uh, for, uh, if you have certain level of temperature, then you can adjust the CO2 or the lighting in uh, mm. uh, so that the plant can grow well in that uh, temperature range. But if the temperature really fluctuate a lot, right? Then the CO2 and lighting, you also need to adjust, uh, I mm. think accordingly because um, uh, different temperature, the plant uh, kind of metabolism will be different as well. Mm. Yeah. So, right, right, right. So yeah. it needs to keep adapting. Yeah. And that will be not good for yeah. the plant. So you see a lot of variable in inside the planted tank. So as long as you can keep more uh, parameters stable and constant, then you will have less headache to adjust the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We like to share some brands or models that you personally use. And oh, okay. You, yeah. um, for the lighting, uh, actually you can see like I use a lot of lighting, uh, many brands of mm -hmm. light uh, around here, but like mostly I think Chiros is like the good uh, and trusted mm -hmm. brand so far I use. Um, I use for most of the time here, I think the Chiros one, but uh, uh, also depends on the taste of, uh, of people. Sometimes uh, you can see uh, Chiros is too strong uh, but uh, you can choose like Twinstar or Wikiapua, Netly, mm. all the brands. That's why I say in Singapore we have many many uh, choices. choices yeah. yeah, so uh, we can we can choose from. Yeah, mm. so um, uh, depends on the budget and also depends on the the, the usage. You can mm. choose differently. Yeah, right, uh, right. light is very important. So uh, yeah, choose it uh, and invest it in the lighting. Then uh, it will reward well. Mm -hmm. uh, for the filters, um, uh, filters wise, uh, mostly I use uh, Oase and mm. uh, Ehem in uh, in uh, in uh, the, mm. the, the the planted tanks at home, uh, because I think due to the uh, durable of, uh, of the product, mm -hmm. and also like for Oase, I love it because uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, the, the, the filter have the pre filter function, which yeah, is very, yeah. very uh, easy convenient, to, right? yeah, convenient to do mm. the cleaning for those. Uh, and also like for the filter smart, right? Actually mm -hmm. you can see it, it can be very nicely placed on the table. Mm. Yeah, same level with the tank and uh, yet like very, small, uh, low compact, profile. Yeah, yeah, compact, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. then you can put on the table. Actually it's also very nice next to yeah. the, the scape itself. Yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true.
And so uh, I have a question for you that's a very important question. Mm. Okay. And uh, how you answer also very important. All right. Okay. So what does your wife think about all this? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> okay, she's not at home, so I can freely yeah, tell yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, for the for um, uh, my wife, uh, she's the one. Uh, she's and my kid is the one that want to have the fish tank at oh, home. Oh, okay. Yeah, at okay, first. Okay. But uh, I think she forgot to mention the number of tanks. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> no limit. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, instead of one tank, the uh, all the tank is just popping out and. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, but she's very supportive. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm lucky that my my wife and my kids are very supportive mm, mm, uh, mm. for my hobbies, and uh, they really love it as well. Yeah. So, uh, as long as you you have the support uh, tip partners, mm. then uh, I think yeah uh, the plants also happier. Yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And do they help out in any of the? Yeah, maintenance yeah, all. definitely. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, um, sometimes I just like uh, go for a business trip or away. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they will help to do all the top oh, up the water because okay, a okay. planted tank normally evaporate. Uh, yeah. uh, all the tank evaporate uh, waters uh, quite a lot in Singapore. Mm. So every day they will do the top up water, feeding the fish, and wow. sometimes yeah they use this uh, to just like scraping the, the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. it's some simple tasks that they can help up with. Then can maintain the tank well as well that's really good it becomes yeah. almost like a family thing yeah a yeah. family project that you all are yeah. maintaining together yeah definitely wow. it's, it's yeah. like now uh, even uh, they say now the house without the planted tank is mm. something missing there already mm. so when you when you uh, come home then you see the light from the the planted tank is just shiny around right mm. you feel like homely that's true. Yeah. That's true. I, I think you you agree with me on yes, that. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely, right? definitely. Yeah, you uh, you go back home, then you see like everything dark, right? You feel something missing, right? Yes, so yes. So you yes. turn on the 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 the, the tank light, and yeah. you see, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's home. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And what what is your maintenance regime when you uh, mm. you know since we are talking about maintaining? Okay. The you know overall like yeah. Do you mm. do you do it weekly? Um, do you do you leave some out at mm. some times or mm. yeah? Actually, um, uh, bas basically, I try to do it every week, mm. one time for every tank. But uh, uh, due to the schedule, sometimes we, we miss out one one week, sometimes mm. two weeks. But like uh, uh, for those small tanks, right? For, for those small tanks, like less than 60, I think we need to do it more frequently. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. But for big tanks, it can withstand longer. Mm. For example, like this big boy, uh, five yeah. feet, uh, Five foot tank, right? This one, I think, even there was a time I leave it for a month. Mm, 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 mm. I only yeah. do like very general cleaning on the glass. Right. Uh, but I think the fish happier with that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, they um, uh, they didn't get any disturb yeah. from us, right? <laughs> they true. they're very happy. That's yeah, true. the plant just like grow wide and uh, thing. But like the water is still very crystal clear, no right. problem. Stable as yeah. well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. yeah, or the regime, I uh, try to clean it uh, mm. uh, weekly and uh, water change is about 30 to 50 percent. Yeah. So um, for yeah, all of them? Or? For all of them. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Wow. And I noticed you have some tanks outside as well. Outside uh, the home yeah. okay. Do you also do the same thing with them? For oh. the tank outside, I don't need to do anything. Okay. That one is so called, uh, not low tech, uh, but no tech. Yeah. No tech. No not tech. even a no tech tank. filtration or yeah. nothing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No filtration, no artificial lighting, yeah. no fertilizer, uh, no fin uh, filtration. Yeah. Yeah. So basically no CO2. So right. it's just live by itself like the like oh the, okay yeah do uh, you need to top it up at least? uh okay water top up definitely okay, but okay. Uh, what i do normally do is like i take the water uh, change from the inside indoor tank oh. and i just top up the outdoor tank that yeah. makes sense yeah so it might get some nutrient from the in indoor tank as well okay, okay. and then it may uh can can can, can continue to continue and yeah, then grow yeah. in there yeah mm, mm. so interesting yeah and we we noticed that uh you post really high quality photos and videos oh. online do you have a pro tip for aquarium photography or videography? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for uh, um, I think the tip is like you need to uh, consider like the detail uh, of the uh, aquascape mm. and also like what you like about the aquascape. Uh, so when you like a uh, plant uh, a planted tank, mm. definitely you in uh, you find the reason why you like it, and yeah. then why you like it, you try to describe it through the uh, lens of the photo. Um, the, photo right the photos that you take mm, mm. for example i really love uh, to see the the fish tank from certain angle right mm, mm, so mm. i try to capture it 
uh, mm. through the lens of the camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For example, like the the the, the side view, right? Uh, I think uh, from the from the diagonal diagonal view, right? right? You right. can see it's like the slice of nature there. Mm. It's just like the jelly glass there, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. you capture that from that angle, then try to put it on the photo. That one is about the overall thing. Mm. The other uh, thing is like uh, to 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 focus on the detail. Mm -hmm. For example, you like one plant, right? Why you like it? Uh, because it's spurling or because mm. when the, the the light is on, then the leaves starting to open. You you love that moment. You mm -hmm. just capture mm -hmm. that moment. Yeah. So basically, whatever you like, you try to describe it through the lens of the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and finding the angles that you yeah, like. Yeah. The uh, angle oh, that okay. you like. Why you like it? Oh, Why because like I it, like yeah. this angle. So you just capture that angle. I see. Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, thanks, thanks for that. Would you yeah. consider one day having a photography workshop yeah. <laughs> with us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the aquascaping, why not? Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, right? yeah, oh, we can yeah. think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you guys want uh, to see something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Aquarium course. photography. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jackie. I think uh, that's all we have. Uh, we appreciate you having us in your home and yeah. as always all the best with your okay. 11 tanks. Okay. Was it 11 or is it, has it yeah, increased? Now I miss I think 10 because this one is going to skip. Yeah. Oh, oh okay so 10, <laughs> 10 and a half yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you man, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you Sean. Thank you, thank, you. Yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell and let us know in the comments if there's any other content you'd like to see. Once again, until next time, Skip Zen Lee. Thank you guys so okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> blooper, blooper. Yeah, blooper, blooper. Bloop, 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 bloop. Blooper is a fish. Okay. Hey, no, that's grouper. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I forgot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I think you are tired already. So I find okay okay, okay. okay.